Welcome back to this cursed Bob is You pack. Okay, it's it's not that cursed. This is like a rule discovery open world Bob is You level pack. And we need to figure out what these stand for, all these letters. Also, if I pause the game, you can see this is named ASCII for some reason. That's already a cursed area name. But okay, we didn't explore enough of this area in the last part. So now we're going to head... Wait, there's nothing... There's no gate or anything. This is just... Legend key. Find zeros and ones of 1252 at www.unknowncode.com. To find legends, say the library's name aloud. Uh, have I not been saying this? I mean, this this sure looks like a cursed ice day lingo puzzle. A S C I I. Oh, it spells. Well, the reason I didn't know that was because you pronounce it butt key. I mean, ass key. So I guess I'm just not confident in myself just pronounced the name earlier. God damn. So then stuff like these are codes, especially the ones and zeros, which you definitely need to know. And it says 1252, so you got... Well, I don't even know where to put them. But presumably there is a place. Okay, and that also means... Well, they can't be here, right? Because these are sixes, but those were eights. It's also worth noting that, like, if these letters were involved, these are in completely different spots, so, like... Number 67 would correspond to C, you know. Like, you might think 3 equals C, you know, B equals 2, but maybe they're using those instead? That isn't the only strange thing about the library, but perhaps now we can finally do these. So this says, the answer is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, we finally potentially have the answer to that, so that would literally just be, like... No? If there's an order, maybe I don't know what it is. Like, it could be in reverse? Nope. Maybe they've switched it on you, so it's, like... One, two, three, and four. I don't want to try them all. That's like a little too spaghetti. And plus, it doesn't make sense with the order of the legend. Maybe I still need to know more. Or try the legend on a different location. There's like also here. Which has the weird eight and nine, five and four. It's not an answer, but a puzzle like every other one you've seen before. Like, how is that not an answer of the... Oh my gosh. Eight, nine... I mean, it's not likely to work, but... Five and four. Didn't work. All right, let's look at this stuff again. So, like, we did the, we did this. We did this decimal one and two. So it would make sense those are one and two. But what if, actually, the same logic that I mentioned with, like, going to the letter A, there's also one and two down here. And funnily enough, they look very similar. But they have this extra one and one in, in here. So even though this is position 49 in ASCII, it is corresponding to the symbol one. So let's do it, I guess. One. Four. And now... You gotta add this extra bit. There we go! So yeah, all of those just had, you know, the 1-1, one, one, the 1-1. One, one. Suppose it's a nice shorthand. Does this package reference other numbers as well? No is on top, book is on bottom. Okay, okay. So we gotta get the K, which is this. Then N, O, and then W all the way at the bottom. It's okay, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Uh, it's like for the rest of them it's like here all of them will have this line here and then there we go so that's k n o w and then book well i know that the o's look like this we already use the letter o but now and in book as well the k is also kept which is nice it's <laughs> you can do the okay you can do the bottom part without even looking at the list just like comparing stuff and we can consider this puzzle solved all right, now there's also a right side of this location. Here. So it says 8, 9, 5, and 4. This is a puzzle. I don't know why this one calls it a puzzle and not like... I don't know. Anyway, 8 and 9, 5, and 4. And we did, in fact, do 8, 9, uh, 5, 4, and 4. But we will also need to add this, probably. the These that... Oh, does it work? Did I mess up? Hmm. And this is turn into some addition troll. Like, what if it means, oh, add it up? So now we, instead of 8 and 9, you do add them up and then it becomes 17. And you add, and then you put 1 and 7 to correspond to the 17. Same for the 5 and 4. Okay, well, it's not that much effort to imagine that maybe it could be 17. So, this is 7, well, this is 1 and 7. And then the next would be 0 and 9. Find here, uh. How is this like every other puzzle I've seen before? This is some real news speak here. <laughs> the usual standard for this game is puzzles that look like stuff on the grid and symbols, not 
this thing. And uh, it doesn't seem to be reversing either, because I thought, you know, this is like, there's some mirror image joke before, but I don't think it's working here. So, I have an idea here. It, if this is it, it's freaking genius. Because it's the only way to make sense that I can see of making this puzzle seem like ones that I've seen before. But... It does have some oddities, like, okay, so the idea is, you use this, but not as tiles being on and off, you use it to represent symbols on the grid, so, 001, 001, so then this is like 8, 9, 5, 4, and so, well, the only ones that really matter are the ones at the bottom rows, because the 5 has ones that are facing up into nothing, so, anyway, this will be incredibly cool if this is it, and then, wow, that's... Holy crap, that's, that's really good. Yeah, I guess the top numbers are just trolls. <laughs> well, and now, let's see. The pulls are mono, then land, but the N lines ones are inverted. Uh, flipped or inverted, because they're different. We'll imagine they're inverted for now. So, M-O-N-O. -O. So, n most importantly, the puzzles are this way. So, I believe the M will not have anything to do with anything because M will be on the top line, and therefore will always be pointing upwards. Now, <laughs> I don't remember the symbols, I'm gonna have to look them up. I just, like, I love this mechanic. So, the only things that matter are O and N. O is a 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And remember, this is actually for the second row. The puzzle on the second row is, of course, ones that are facing upwards into the first row. Now, if these are inverted, then I should, like, target both the top two rows for the second row and then just oh normally i guess there we go then land all right so we grab like l a n and n and d to grab some of these numbers of course the ones are inverted in row three again also the top row doesn't matter at all because those ones aren't pointing anywhere and let's do it all right ones and then just got a one and one uh <laughs> I misplaced the middle column of ones, so it should actually be there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that was that was dumb of me. Okay, we're surprisingly done with this area? But there was also anomalies that one of the characters talked about in the lower floor. There's just some dialogue about it. I guess we're not done with this, whatever it is, but I did look through the left area and I didn't find anything, so... I mean, I do see an anomaly, but that's not what they're talking about. So the area on the left had, like, spike strips like this. And this is, in fact, a 6x1. So that's promising, I guess. I even had this, you know, foresight to make a picture of these spike strips. Because there's one on the left side of the area as well as the right side, and they're different. Well, lucky for me, it's faster to just exit and come back to get back to this area. Okay, so, um... You know, it would make sense for the left to, you know, correspond with the left. So let's do it. Let's say the spikes are where you need to put tiles in. So then B would look like this for both the B rows. That just leaves C and D. And D looks like boop boop. D, uh, C looks like... Oh! There we go. Alright, looks like we got it. I don't know what was very anomalous about it, though. Anyway, let's do this one out. A is boop boop boop. Actually, this is the wrong order. Uh, not that there is any order. I don't know why I said that. Uh, alright, let's do it in the proper order now. Oh, oh, D isn't anything. Nice joke. Well, that's not my favorite puzzle in the game. Okay, so, is this area actually just done now? I think I've explored everywhere in here. However, there's still an underground section, which is gonna be a long walk, but it's probably worth it. In the sense that it'll be maybe satisfying to watch, oh, there's a fast travel cheat. I, it's kind of funny, I'm not gonna fast travel cheat. Even though it would make a lot of sense, too. Because the actual order of this is that you're supposed to find your way into the underground now. I still don't know how to deal with these freaking environmental puzzles, though. Um, just need to find our way back underground. Now, I remember there was a passcode or something in here. Somewhere in the woods, and... Well, I guess they didn't figure where it was. <laughs> okay, so we are finally here. Might as well enjoy the experience, the intended experience of this fountain. Which was supposed to, like, apparently wasn't supposed to find this until now. But, was it here? I don't think so. I think it was down. Had this stuff. This stuff. And I never went up here, but that feels like a place I've already been. Wow, what a joke. Where was that area? Was it this way? Oh, um, we needed... 
Okay, just a look back at video number three where I had this solution. And down here, look at that. You know, I don't even think I reached this part in this video. <laughs> it was in part four. But we did learn the key to this. So, yeah. Should be able to solve it just by using the white dots that I've... There we go. Put on the image to avoid having to actually calculate the numbers each time. Okay, what's behind this? Ooh, another corridor? What the? What the? Library... Pa Oh my god! Gates, passages, this pad is worn away. W what page code? This one has fallen apart. Library passageway code. H twin. Alula. <laughs> Citadel passageway. Alula. What? 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 <laughs> Woodside passageway code? I oh my god, what a tease. And we have lowercase and uppercase, but we can actually understand that from the ASCII. So we found two other codes in the third video of the series that I guess could combine together. I'll definitely need to combine this together in an image so we don't lose track and... What's in the... Oh my god, it connects over here. This is a one-way path too, what a joke. Okay, and there were a bunch of underground passageways here that we couldn't access. If I can remember where they each were. Uh, but yeah, they probably have to do with the codes now that we know how to actually interface with them. So we had these, we did all these. Hopefully they represent permanent progress though. Oh yeah, I don't think I did this puzzle. Since that had that symbol that I didn't know. We should now be able to do it though. So this is like the zero that disables. Shh, I, I don't care about the... That lore does not matter to me at this moment. This zero... Yeah, well you're trying to input the puzzle. That, that goes in and distracts you, huh? CBA. Okay, let's just do all the zeros again. I mean, there's not like there's another symbol in, in here. Okay, now, all right, so that's that, but also we have the symbol, remember that one, and effectively the function of that will force this rotation and then putting it there. However, this is actually an operation you do for the tiles, not the symbols, so you just gotta copy that then. All right, it shouldn't be that hard to remember. So I tried inputting that twice and it didn't work, so I gotta, like, this lore, I have to reinterpret it. <sighs> Well, it's just that this lore in the puzzle stuff has rarely mattered, but I think it does now. High up on the wall is a screen swell. So the, the joke is that actually this is not a wall. We need to pretend up a logical explanation for this, which is that probably the water is a reflection of something, and so because it's reflected, the puzzle is different. So within the lore, the puzzle is actually on this wall, and it is being reflected here. So the thing on the wall would look like that, which is like a reflected version, of course, flipped. Man, I made a huge mess trying to solve the puzzle, and I need to flip it upside down. It's not work. I, I must have messed up earlier, oh my god. But Baba is you. Also, apparently the solution is this. Um, I thought- I thought there's a double- oh my god, it's gonna be hard as hell to picture. I don't know if I got myself confused about this, because I thought it should get double disabled, but you know what, that works, I'm just gonna leave. Nice text. <laughs> It's actually pretty cool that, like, some of these levels are not usual in border sizes, but it just looks so natural until this happens. But okay, that's done. Alright. And then we have this. So, should we know what this is now? Like, whatever this is. This is a Woodside passage. It says, dollar Kai Kyle plus. So it's time to look at the ASCII database again. So a dollar is 001... One here, a C is one, and one, one, one here, I think. L has a one here, and one, one, oh, oh, at the end. My question is, wouldn't it be hilarious if you don't even get permanent progression? Okay, you do get, per okay, all right. At least you get permanent progression. That's good. Unfortunately, I feel like this is way too slow to qualify as fast travel, probably. Like, I, I, it's sad to say it, but I think it's true. There was like, there's so many very shortcutty areas, like this one, wh what is this gate? Um, I literally forgot. Was it H-Twin? Turns out it is. And also they're lowercase, so you have to do a little bit different for these, but yeah, there we go. Or maybe I'm just sad by the order I discovered all this in. But this didn't work so well as fast travel, like, I mean, do I have anything more to do in the library anymore? Maybe I forget, if I forget one of the hints, then sure. Okay, so let's go back down, there's this... It's not the only area in the underground, we have this. And this is... 
or either a lure of 40451. We'll do 40451 first since that one is easier to do in terms of Okay, I don't think it is it then. Because we get into it, the binary counting system here. I mean, it's probably a Lula. A Lola. Even spells an A. I'm, I'm waiting for the one that spells CBA on the grid. Even though you can't really do that with eight letters. It's kind of silly that every time you open a gate with permanent progress, it doesn't like... Well, some gates have exploded the gate, but like the pawns are still in the way, like... And it's like slightly unimmersive, I guess. I'm just going here because I swear there was a left side thing. Right? Oh, but I don't remember... Shoot. Did I ever do this? Oh my god. I don't remember doing this at all. And it's a 7 width. <sighs> but yeah, there's this. I remember this gate, so I'm gonna put that in. This should be the 40451, right? There we go. Just makes sense to grab this bit of permanent progress while I can. And I'd love to know what is going on in this room with this puzzle. Like, there's a light here, so... I might have said this before, like, the first time I went in this room, but I thought maybe some of the other lights, you know, you had some objects that you maybe wanted to copy. It's like, for example, if it was the one at the very far end, it might look like that, which is not it. Um... I <sighs> also just noticed that, like, there's these. Although, these are movable, so maybe not even the best example, but... You know, I thought maybe, oh, this one refers to this object, and this one refers to the boxes. And you're supposed to copy some sort of figure in both of them but like none of them are the seven by three that i thought like, there's no clean seven by three location to copy i wouldn't know where to maybe just coincidental that those happen to exist near the puzzles well uh time to go here <laughs> okay <laughs> what what a puzzle okay so we can do this very easily right we should know this mechanic all right toggle these this one uh also the zero Boop, 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 boop. Wait, no, this is off at this point, so don't do that. But do this one. Don't do this zero. There you go. There's the light. What? 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 What do you mean it's blocked? What is this nonsense? Like, this is the time that you, like, reveal that you can go through walls to lamps or something. Alright, nice long cut. <laughs> Alright, so this is quite a large gap in... <laughs> location of where I last was, but you should recognize this as the third area of the game, at least the third area that I personally went in, and I've never figured out some of the environments puzzles in this area, but considering that we have some environmentals that we don't know how to solve, it was, and it feels like I should be able to, like, I, I went back to this area, and pretty sure the stick matters now. Like, when I came here first, the stick didn't mean very much. I mean, I, I knew it was weird and suspicious because we didn't see anywhere else, but now, I mean, that is a huge indicator of rotation so should be rotating it now and so do we do this maybe the inverse <laughs> i have no idea maybe just the fences nope we know sticks are like on the top left right oh my gosh <laughs> there it goes that was really dumb to forget as well so is like i'll be so much happier if all the environmentals are like on the screen that they are in like here's another environmental i have no idea this side's certainly suspicious because it has the question mark next to it but this grid didn't like there's no stick i think i think this area if you rotate it is the correct size even though there's not much distinction about where it should be i guess we could try it but there's no stick so a lot of these, the grass would be like overlapping a thing. Alternate orientation though, that does work. Like the other, on the other side, this wouldn't have worked. Wait, no, wait. There's a piece of grass that I still can't hit over here. Like it could be inverted as well. Like what if it's the not grass tiles? That didn't work. The area in there is also a, you know, it could fit. Except there's a table here that blocks the way in terms of like, like noting all the cells that could be relevant. I want to try the other one again. The, ugh, either orientation seems to work. Why does this look like, why is it only one space off? There's like, there's, there's this giant 3x3 three three for some reason. And it makes sense that a, that like a giant part of the grass would be corresponding to... Like, the fact that there's such a large region open here, like, makes it feel like the 3x3 three three is used, even though... <sighs> what? 
What? I just... I just flipped it vertically because of that. It's like, clearly, I was... I was using a vertical mirror image of that, but why, but why was it flipped like that? And no one make this dumb table flip pun. Hey, we meet hero. I used to work for the library. You see what's just happened? Yes, it's erupted in a time where we distrusted royals. Could it, but, could it, but, could it battle advanced? Fantastic. Oh my gosh. You know, these are eights. And like, we've recently learned that 8 is like a relevant number for things to be. If we find like a 6 letter code of any kind, we could probably fill this in. There's also an equivalent weird looking environment just like this on the other side of the map, on the very left of it. And this is, this is basically the very right side of the map, so... Okay, and I don't think we ever did this either. This might be something. Of course, the issue is that this shape... Like, I gotta put it somewhere, and it doesn't rest cleanly anywhere. I... I really do not know. What did this used to say? I don't think that helps with the environmental. Now, this is a 7-bit puzzle, so we could brute force that. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. <laughs> so, it, it doesn't even use the space, really. I'm in awe of the genius this puzzle is, huh? I'm in awe at the tail who are spinning. Wow, what, a, what an anti-climax that was. Why couldn't it be like that? CBA! It's like this is a repeated pattern anywhere. Like, I, I really wanted one of these to have, like, the slightly different looking trees, but for the environmental puzzle, but this is not it. Alright, so it turns out my IQ just needs to be even lower to do these. There was this. Okay, what is this? So the boxes can actually be involved in it. I don't know, like, how this is involved. You can move it away as well. Um, but you can't really make the box pattern in this way. For this one, I was thinking, oh, there's, like, this corner piece here next to the question mark. And also a corner piece here, but I don't really know if that's relevant. And there's the leaves that don't really fully... Also, this freaking professor meme. Freaking... It doesn't even mention the environmentals. I, I know what that professor says. Professor. No. There's leaves that go in that pattern, right? Like, here and here. Fortunately, there are more, and, like... Not really brute forceable at this point. Maybe it's there around the question mark? Like, I, I wanted to see one of these blank space ones. Like, there's some blank space here. Um, and then, well, you don't actually have the ability to do this. Or I guess, like, th that's, it, if it's empty space, then it should be the, the inverse of that, right? Oh. Uh, but that's not even... Oh, God. Where, maybe there's a different place where that makes sense because, uh... <laughs> oh god, I, I, I'm so losing it, dude. Like, what? Oh yeah, I can make this to... Yeah, no, no, no. Wait, why is it invert? Wait, there's no stick. Oh, it was just inverted off the box position. It wasn't even based on this. So I guessed it again. I was like, you have to, it was taking the empty space of this and this, even though this ended up not being right. Like, it ended up being put here. And, I mean, not really put here. You were supposed to mirror this box configuration. Well, okay, I guess, like, I thought this was a real stretch. But, I mean, technically there is this wood over here that is mirrored on uh on the bottom so i guess it makes more sense there but god like oh you don't know whether the thing is rotated mirrored or whatever the heck so i definitely feel very spaghettified by all these environmentals at this point do i have any more left other than the big one in terms of environmentals i suppose i could go back into the underground <laughs> forgot whether this had anything no not really that grass patch might be i mean i don't know right, what kind of global spaghetti is that environment puzzle. I, we're gonna end it there probably, then finish up that purple area. Well, if I can do this. Like, this area is actually kind of interesting as well. It contains a lot of, and it only contains barrels and boxes. We're gonna say that's barrels, but that didn't work. Mm. If I didn't do those orange area puzzles first, then I would have said there was something wrong with, like, this being a 6x3 area, 
what I've currently inputted instead of a 7 by 3 but we know this the freaking pack can do nonsense so, so the, not not very respecting the size like I was thinking the double barrel because there's a double barrel there as well it might be relevant but like there's nothing bottom left of that barrel it feels arbitrary to go here and like where there's even more empty space I mean I already looked at that section so I don't think so yeah I don't know what's going on with that puzzle so we're just gonna come back here this is the place that we ended in uh episode four we were roadblocked because both sides of this had a unknown thing. This puzzle is 9z9 while its knots are inverted, and we had no idea what that was until now. So here's 9 and Z, but again, this is the puzzle, not the answer. So we'll have to make up the puzzle now. Okay, but also the zeros are inverted. In other words, I gotta do the inverted zero rule. And so for every zero that I see, I need to do this. I might as well do all the zeros in its own separate step. All right, I think that's all the zeros. Now to do the ones, which are just pointing upwards. And the bottom layer of ones. There we go. Read closely for your answer. You are the one, a savior to this world. It's very strange. It's five letters long. You are the one. I mean, certainly there is a one in that, in, in that sentence. Um, no, I don't understand. <laughs> so we are ne we need a five letter long thing, or like a five character thing, for this to make sense. At least it's, it says it's the answer. The thing I'm most worried about is if this isn't self-contained, like if I need to remember something from way earlier on, then it'll take forever to walk back there. Um, I have no idea, it's time to leave. <laughs> Go do something else. So, the previous hints at what's next. God, I have to go resolve this part of it. Uh, but I know that was an empty board. Huh. So I'm just copying the solution from when I last played and did this puzzle. So I, now that we know that there's a distinction between puzzle and solution, this should just be as easy as moving all this stuff up by one, right? So I'm just copying the row here. That didn't do it. Maybe it means next from the standpoint of like, what's the next ASCII symbol after this? And that will basically involve toggling the final column, I think. So it looked like, no, didn't work. Well, should I explain my failed idea then? <laughs> Once again, there's some sort of ambiguity here in what is exactly previous in, in it, whether it's the answers or part of the clues at all. Or it could literally be the word next, because next is a four-letter word, which seems unlikely, though. Okay, I'm back from month break. <laughs> this puzzle solves to four six if you read it. I don't remember if I figured past we figured that out, but you know, you can't do five seven. Not exactly. There's a lot of ways the next one could be. It's almost annoying. It could be next in the alphabet. T J Y for T J Yoshi. Okay, I just look at discussions about this puzzle. It could also be eight ten, which is also reasonable. Like it fits the three letter word, but it's not it at all. Isn't the coordinate four six? Okay, I I did put part of it. I guess that spoils it a little bit, but it's the answer is just that's the that's the number six four times. We're just gonna leave that frog permanently in mind. Hello. Look at all this. Our beautiful home. Gone. Many people grew angry at the royals, but even though they were flawed, they were kind people. There's a book here. The code is 16807, but the number is too big for the grid. Is there some way to shrink it? I mean, 16 and 8 are also very <laughs> divisible by two numbers. Power of two numbers. I wonder if they're finally going to use the fact that there's these numbers in decimal. So that'd be 16, 80, and 7. That didn't work at all. Okay, doing it on the hex numbers also doesn't work. Alright, I searched this number and it's a 7 to the power of 5. So now it's just, I feel like it's obvious now. You just find the exponent symbol who's 7 to the power of 5. Let's grab this. Boom. You can bring some boxes out. Oh, yeah, we've been here. <laughs> Wait, I can't get back. Oh, my God. There better have been, um... Well, I think I've been here. This is just, like, some imposter area. Yeah, I'm gonna need to look back at the footage because I didn't see where the 
info that you use to get this 5x5 five five is... I don't know where it's at. Also, I don't remember if I placed this or, or if that was originally the level, which is a bad sign. Okay, this one should be more like listen closely. You are the one... As, as a Lingopian, this is now more accessible. You are the one. A savior to this world. There we go. That's you are one A2. And... Hello, me. Me, me. I thought everyone fled already. Why are you still here? The royal... E even though there's a massive death flood and tails in this place, you're still here. Absolutely home... St I mean, homebound. The library's entrance in the darkness hidden in plain sight. Oh, what? Library's entrance in the darkness hidden in plain sight. That's nice if there was something I missed there. Okay, and we have this. This just seems like a normal puzzle. Copies here, here, here. I think this eventually copies that. This copies this, this. This copies the one to the left. Okay, got it. Glad I didn't forget the rules, I mean. But why would I go back down? Is this the same code? There's no way. This is just going to send me somewhere I've already been, right? This is going to copy it down one. This is going to copy a down one as well. This is going to copy an up one. Okay. This up. Uh, I failed. Okay, I'm not sure what went wrong, but I tried it again and it succeeded, so there we go. Welcome back! Well... I mean, maybe it is that the key isn't here and we need to go back to the library. I remember this being a very suspicious room, but this isn't near- this isn't really the entrance. This is the side room. And this room isn't even, like, the- the 5x5 five five grid. Potentially. Like, you could imagine it as if this was adding to the 5x5 five five grid, though. So maybe we should try it. Like, if we overlay this 3x3 three three and try to interpret it as a 5x5, five five, maybe there's something there. It's gonna take so long to walk between them if I didn't add the fast travel teleports. My god. Like, I would have thought the darkness was around here. What if, like, the room below is the entrance? I mean, this, this area maybe is suspicious, so that's, like, two potential things we could do. Unfortunately, this isn't even cleanly cut out of 5x5, five five, but maybe this is what it means. Alright, first the books. So I'll imagine that the middle is the 3x3 three three area, and then the books are where we actually type. So, for example, this would be on to correspond to the fact that the top left has a book going up. There's a book to the top left. Book from the middle. Here. Here, down. Nope. Okay. But I didn't account for the book on the very right. Okay, that's nice. useful. Plus, we need to do inversions. Anyway, it says in the darkness, so I'm going to assume that they want negative space here. And that didn't work. Inverting the whole thing failed as well. Okay, imagine it one row up. Oh my god! I never tell with this freaking this level design, I swear to god. Hope you realize it ruins the darkness when you have a freaking win thing on the... Let's just proceed. Hello. These darkness have taken over the security system. Maybe activating will bring back the bypass. Nice hole in the ground. Where's the star to checkpoint? Why are there no checkpoints in here? Hello. You think the world is... <laughs> Sounds like the 4-6 puzzle to me. I don't even know how close I am to the ending. I mean, to be fair, 4 exits is very concerning. But if each leads to a dead-end lore passage, it might be fine. Okay, so do we have a block pushing puzzle first to get through? Because it seems like we may need to get rid of some water. So we need to rescue this one at least. We could we would, no. No, yeah, this this should work. Alright, now that we have three, it should be trivial. We just need a breakthrough like here. Alright, let's see what this is. Hey, wait. Really? Wait. I can't do anything with them. Maybe it's in for another room? Alright, I mean, let's kind of, like, correspond it to here. Hey. Okay, oh, let's go here instead. Uh, I did this and nothing is... Oh, maybe I need the other one. Just this isn't enough. Oh, and this is a dead end. Alright, let's go up. This is blocked, so... Hold on, these boxes start off in this configuration, so... Okay, this is pretty cool. This is nice. Nice joke where the things that we need to access, we have to intentionally move them out of the way. Now, there we go. 
Let's so rotate these, maybe? There's also a piece of water, though. Okay, let's use the piece of water, because that one is at least the correct rotation. Yep, there we go. So it was this water patch, and now... Let's use the boxes. Um, Maybe the opposite way around? Nope. Maybe there's something underneath these? I don't know. There's like one thing underneath those. Maybe try the box configuration on the left side? I don't know. Nope. I'm just gonna do like the holes underneath those. Or the inversion of the holes underneath those. Nope. Are symbols underneath the water or something? I think so. Let's try flipping it for no reason! My god! I didn't really want that to work. Is there a stick? There's not- there's no stick under- Oh. Okay, yeah, uh, my fault. <laughs> Alright, now we can see what's underneath this. And then use this for the puzzle that we need, alright? Alright, hope to have made no mistake with the left one. Alright, there it is. Now we're in the Dismal Citadel stairs, and... Um... um two floor... My god. We don't know... There are so many things like this that we don't know. I mean, certainly the edges of the screen with the tails and stuff are also a bit suspicious, and... They're not quite five row, though. But alright, this is the second floor, and wow, it just keeps going. Down here is what? To find the code for the next floor, probably the characters three and four. Probably just means use the characters. Like those those correspond to four and three. Which is not I mean, why? Like maybe it just means to swap four and three to be three and four instead. Well that's wrong. Yeah, I, I suppose that's correct. So the unintuitive and open-ended, like, puzzles in here honestly make me kind of think this was intended to be a multiplayer, like, get help experience. I don't know. Okay, these correspond to C and a colon. So C is 9. That's basically all it is. C is 9. That colon adds, like, nothing to the experience. We're gonna need A and B, though. Oh my god. These, these don't line with the things that we need. Okay, there's a 4x4 four four and a note. Be wary when the puzzle is built to scale. Well, it's nice that we're at least reading these hint books in CBA order. Wait, CBA isn't even like one line each. So maybe I'm thinking something wrong with C, but okay, we're just gonna copy this because I don't really know what it means. The initialisms are weird, and it's maybe just BTS if it's three letters long. Wait, none of these are 4x4 four four either. Why? Also, there are way more books in this area than just this one. There was like this, a place in the woods, two codes, three stars, and 64%. 64%. Two backwards names are the key for the other side. Oh, also reading this back, I think it means like, to find the code for floor three. So just the, the fact that they're using three and four it might just be a coincidence in the first half, because it's like, it's just the code for floor three. Which, we're not even in floor 3 yet. Although, this could get really messy because there's a lot of codes and a lot of places to check now. And like, the, just the number 4 and 3 isn't enough to fill these. However, there is this exit to the wood side, there it is. This is really far on the wood side. This doesn't... This is really... This is a, still like 7 rooms away from the freaking woods, dude! <laughs> well, anyway. Alright, glad that long cut has been unlocked. Alright, so remember this place in the woods? Yep. Two codes, th three stars, and 64%. Well, it's more like 64 in the percent side. 64 in the percent. Anyway, so I assume by star, this is what this is. Oh, wait, that all already worked? Weird. That I This would be a moment where I definitely combine the two into one puzzle. Why, why, why is this here then? Well, this is the result of 64 in the percent on it. This didn't... Oh, man, this is just plus two... Plus two puzzles, but doesn't lead to anything, right? And... 
I want to know how to make, like, forward progress and see how close I actually am to the ending. There's also, again, like, uh, there was a similar big grid of stuff in the very, very left of the map. I don't know if we have info yet for that. Certainly the other side is, like, a little suspicious, but I don't know. Well, anyway, let's add a cheat level select- I mean, walk to the next interesting location. Yeah, here. This doesn't even make sense, actually, because these are 7s and not 8s, which don't work for the ASCII system. Wait, this room had a freaking 2x2 two two down here! Which means that we can brute force it. I- oh, okay! I mean, that kind of, but not quite, looked like this. The one at the bottom is actually not correct for, like, if we wanted to think of it that way. Is this a new mean way to interpret? Grids? Because, like, is this supposed to be, like, the, the wrongly scaled edition of this? <laughs> Should I be concerned that this is actually supposed to correspond to this after all? These aren't the background crates or anything like that, right? No. Okay, I solved both of the puzzles on this grid, like, just, just looking at it, and... This one, at least, spells out a clear H. Hey! Okay, it was, it was that! Okay, cool. But then what does this mean? We can squish that too! Oh my god! Okay, that's very cool. <laughs> they, they didn't look like they were relevant, but they genuinely were, which is a surprise. It's really nice to see that. I don't quite know how it made sense for the bottom room, though. The bottom room felt like you were using the clues as the thing, but not the solution. Anyway, hopefully this gives us some info about what A is. These pawns aren't even real! The, on, on, on the other side or something. A-R-O-D. And have you been to the room of books on the story? I think yes, I have. The code to the world's chamber is locked behind another code. You'll find the other code down here. Wow, three codes hiding behind another code? Good god. Is this the royal's chambers? Is this the royal? I don't freaking know. Y you are too vague. <laughs> However, if it was hidden somewhere, I would believe it'd be here. This says, because I remember the 2 2 15, and that was really suspicious. It's like, and. That, that wasn't it. Okay, this, this, honestly... <laughs> don't even solve it. Just realize that, like, an X is probably the, the shape that retains the most information. Like, it could be an N or a Y or whatever, but come on. It doesn't even matter at all, because the walls aren't freaking real on it. Which doesn't mean that there's not real here either. No, you bothered to put the collision on these, but not the other ones. Okay, what the hell are these? Well, time for another walking expedition. Okay, um, got a lot of nonsense here, but we did see A-R-O-D, so maybe A corresponds to Rod, but even that's a bit weird because... <sighs> like, is that really what the other side means? It's not even a backwards name, and also... <sighs> the lengths don't like- like, like, let's say A is Rod, so that's R-O-D, then B and C don't have much room. Like, if V is BTS, then... Okay, maybe that's it, even though, like, it squishes it down so far that C takes up only the bottom row, which feels a little bit wrong. But, like, let's say this is Rod, this is BTS, and this is 9. What? God. The other side. Maybe this is Dora? Like, A-R-O-D is Dora backwards. And they both mentioned the other side. I don't remember other- I don't remember names being mentioned. If there was a name mentioned before in this pack, I thoroughly forgot about it. Otherwise, I would do names like Baba characters like me and Gigi and Fofo and something like that. And plus it's two, not one. Okay, what if this find code for floor three, that doesn't mean three and four. <laughs> what if it's literally three, the and symbol, and a period, or maybe like the spaces count? Unfortunately, this does not seem to be it. Also, this. There's, like, that's a space character. Didn't work. I, I don't really know where to go next, but there was an update. I, like, I was on multiple versions behind, and now this pawn stuff is fixed. Also, this has changed. This... Oh, my God. I, this hasn't really changed in specificity. What if, what if one of the dark books is hidden behind the ABC... I mean, CBA room? Oh my god. I, um, uh, um, blame my reflective monitor screen? Is that I? And that equals 9. Okay, hold on. 
This, I, I mean, I'm not even gonna bother. If this equals B, whoops. But, it, like, is at I, by the way. That's one of the puns with that. It's so, so, A equals 9. Except this is not enough information. I bet with the, with, with the B being at I, equals is probably literal. So it's equals, like, that's literally the equals in ASCII. And then 9, and then B, at. That's, that's the symbol for just at. Okay, um, C, now C... That's probably a joke. It's not gonna- well, we can try 9, but it's too suspicious. It's not. Okay, so 2 and 7, or we could just do 2 plus 7, with a plus sign, and yeah, sure. Missing the dark books, like, continually? Um, I, I don't- I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> okay, now, okay, hmm. We got a book here, which we gotta check. On the other side, Oma. Okay, okay, the other okay. Now suddenly the other side makes sense in a way, right? Because, well, there was another thing that said other side. Well, anyway, well, it said backwards names, the two back. So we just got them. We just got O M O M, which not isn't even Fofo backwards. So what are these names? So O M O M and the A Rod, which is going to be Dora and Momo backwards. So we need to do Dora here. Did I mess it up? This is Dora. Okay, what I thought it. This is A-Rod! This is not backward at all! Okay, well, anyway, freaking... This doesn't feel like a royal chamber at all. <laughs> well, and, um... Those who opposed the royals said the world was getting worse. Was it really? But the abyss came, so maybe they were right. Are the royals are lizard elites. Anyway, this three and four, maybe. Yep, okay. The and being part of it is very nice. Glad I got that. And one IH. Okay. There's no reason ever to go back, alright. Oh, it's gonna be faster to return to menu. Alright. <laughs> alright, there it is. Two puzzles, both are gone. The other puzzle is washed in black. Lower puzzle has digits swapped. Digits. Well, also, di um, okay, I get it. This is this re this is a callback to the time when they were giving puzzles and not answers. So all these are actually ones, like pointing up. You know, okay, the easier one will be the one below. Top rows are literally irrelevant. I just gotta treat these zeros as if they were one because their digits are swapped. So instead, I'm gonna fill in all the things that have zeros. There we go. There's a- wait, no, we have to get rid of that, okay. Next are washed in black, which means we gotta treat these as if they were all blacked. So anything that we do here affects the row above it as well. To be- wait, for the last one, it's this row. I mean, not so this column and this column that should be swept. And I failed it. Oh, the reason I failed because- oh god. Okay, luckily I can just do this step afterwards, but the zeros being black also matters, so we're gonna have to do the zero black operation on all these. I must have failed the execution, oh my god. Alright, here, here's the fixed one. And go below, first letter is D. Back in this room. What's this? Go below and use the code here. What do you mean, go below again? The final letter is N? But the code, there's like nothing to do- okay. Right room? Oh my god. But the second letter is O, okay? Well, here's below. Third letter is once again below, below, below. Doofu. Doofu is you. Okay, what are we here? Oh, this is gonna draw a thing? Okay. How come a Picross puzzle has been in both Cryptic and this? Anyway, so we know that's that has to be the case. This can only extend up by that, so both these are dark. A lot of stuff has to be imagined as dark. Oh, this has to be dark, because, like, you can't do 1-1-1 one, one, one otherwise. Then that means that connects here, and that's this is done. You can't do 2-2-1 two, two, and one if you put it here, so it needs to look like that. This locks 3's position. This locks the 2-2 two, two to be here, and one thing must be here. This 1-2 is then done. This 4 is then done, which means... Yeah, okay, here. This 3... Is this the 2-2? Two, two? Well, this 4 1 is done, so therefore the 3 must go here. Is it gonna spell out anything anytime soon? Well, anyway, this has gotta look like this. This is a W. Erm. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> this is one jank looking W. Well, this is weird. I emphasize going down so much. Oh. We're not going. I thought we were gonna use the it you know, in the stairs, but this is a weird area. Also, I can't move. Is this the abyss they were talking about? Well, 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 the finale is at hand. All we must do is go to sleep. Wait, we were back here? Almost all you must do is go to sleep. <laughs> I, I feel like I barely made any... Like, this is pretty below, isn't it? But you can't use the, the word down in here. That doesn't fit. Oh, this is weird. Why are we back here? Oh, I just... Okay, okay, so... <laughs> I accidentally solved it. I was like, there's no way this is it. I want to go back. And, uh, yeah, it sends me back here. The abyss. You need to, like, leave and re-enter the pack. There was a bucket in the last room. Anyway. <laughs> um. Legend key. You. You can, can. Can. What? Um. I don't know what that is. You control codes? God. Do I remember the legend key? It's been so long. <laughs> There's a book in the previous room. It doesn't do anything, though. Use control codes. Well, it's true. The first 32 characters in the ASCII is control codes, but which one? None of them are even called the end key, or maybe end of text or something. Maybe these. Which happened to be 3 and 4, which like with the 3 and the 4 previously mentioned is insane if intentional. Which is not that though. It's not that either. Am I crazy for getting stuck on this puzzle? Seriously. Um, we got some other ones. <laughs> like... That was here. End of medium. Um, I don't- This is bell alert. The thing that- Like, if I just try to solve a puzzle normally, it's bell alert. I don't know if my YouTube bell notifications can help solve this. Okay, I, I um- I once again looked at discussions about this, and it's- It's- It's to do with this, which I did look around, like, if any of the books were any piece of text, but they're not. <sighs> what we're supposed to do is look at this. You see- this thing, it surely looks maybe more like a jellyfish or a cap in this underwater abyss area. It's a bell. So interact with it. <laughs> Whoa. There's two potential places to go here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, did I mess it up? Even, probably, like, this needs to give you info. Like, this is probably a word. Right, it says L-E-A-F. It spells leaf. There's a banana and, a and some... <laughs> The zaps in that previous room. Is there a leaf here? Yes, there is. There is. Okay, cool. At least I know what I'm looking for this time. No, oh, there's a bomb. Okay, but this one is actually really nice though. It's crack. It's C R A C K, <laughs> which is definitely cool. But now this. What the hell, man? There's a cup here. That's not meaningful. Really gotta do this, huh? Or maybe we should like interpret it first before doing anything with it. Okay, I don't know why. It seems like the first line is sin, which doesn't really make much sense, but the rest say s and idle. The, the fact that there's a DLE for idle is super awesome, by the way. An idle at me. I don't know what the SYN is, but if there's a me character, we want to idle at it. The thing is, there are some me characters far back, not in the abyss, so that's uh, worrying too. And who is me exactly? There's some boxes here as well. At this point, I'm literally gonna idle everywhere, which may not be the best idea. But also, I don't know what they mean. <laughs> what does sin mean? What's there a me in this room? Wait, oh, wait, we never found this. Ha ha ha. C come and kill me Use an other branch. Kill me, but we're supposed to synchronize an idol at me. Where the hell is the crack? Do, the, do these zaps count as cracks? Wait, wait. Oh my god. <sighs> There's no immediate impact, but when it when I idle on one of the bolts, it does. So it is actually a crack. It is actually does count as a crack. Is there another one? What the hell? I thought there were two, but maybe there's a third one. Oh my god! There's the third hint on the top right. Okay. All right. Um, I think this is it. Wait, no. Oh my god! There's a, there's a very hard to spot, but there's a left arrow there. Well, does it matter? None of them are dashed. So why does it matter that it starts? 
parsing this way. Maybe we read it in reverse, I don't know. Well, it says E-M-C-R-V-T, which doesn't make any sense to me. It could be... But if we're reading it backwards, it's T-V-R-C me. I don't know what the R-C is, but TV is definitely a thing. <laughs> is, is there a TV? Is there RC car? <laughs> hey, we already know that me is relevant. Also, there's an X. Like, there's an X down here. Why is there an X? There's like no, no meaning for that. Oh my god. There's a trumpet too. Well, there actually is a... All the way back here... You know, where it seemed like there was nothing to do, and it's, by the way, a little bit evil that, like, the bell isn't in the room where it's freaking hinted. But, looking all around at this stuff, there's a lamp here, there's, like, boba here, but more importantly, the TV. Come and kill the TV. The, R the RC car TV, okay. Bend the nightmare you control, Arful Dodger easy does it. <laughs> shut the closet, get under the covers. Snakes and lovers, trip. uh... Excuse me? Oh, this is some lyric stuff, is it? You must go beyond this world, aka you search. Totally unlike the other times you probably use search. <laughs> we never solved some the very left side puzzle with the anyway. So this is why the pack is named that way, huh? Lyrics. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny that I I went and searched despite it being 6'3", but you, like, you know, mean, it would, couldn't necessarily be 6'3", anyway. 5'6", yep, okay, no space. Okay, there it is. Kill me with light. Haha. -ha. Well, hold on, because it's gonna take a while to do this. I'm sorry, Abyss, uh, this is gonna take a while. It'd be an incredible joke. If the game like jump scares you by killing Baba first because of how long it will take to freaking get all these in. This is H. There we go. And so the hero found the Abyssal Heart who actively told the <laughs> told the hero to drown it in light. Light erupted out of the citadel and it spread across the entire city. The light revived the world and those who had gone dark. Please, please, please make the next light color. Please, please. Damn it. <laughs> the light returned to take its place so this grand city could be legendary again. All went back to normal due to the hero's ability to input ASCII code. Perhaps the city will grow to even higher ice heights thanks to you. Well, I gotta say that was incredible how freaking large that pack was. And it did have some puzzles that were very clever in... Like, the kinds of things they referenced. You misspelled your own name in the credits! <laughs> this is the latest version. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, you... This is Momodora. This, this was just kind of funny. We the, That's the reference of uh, the... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's a, there's a lot of Momodora music, actually. That would make sense. Also, the freaking lockpick music being stole... I have to laugh at that. <laughs> like, because the creator of lockpick thought... No, not the creator of lockpick. The creator of the lockpick soundtrack... This- the ending music is also- This better not be lockpick ending spoilers! <laughs> you're gonna- you're gonna play music of a thing that most people have played and finished? Anyway, the lockpick composer was like, Hey, uh, uh, hey, you use my, uh, music in your video. And didn't realize that it was the pack itself that stole the music. It's <laughs> I mean, really. And Lockpick itself was a game that used no original music until a composer offered to make music for it. And as soon as it does get original music, it's stolen for another project. Anyway, like, the composer doesn't mind, which is also kind of weird. There's, there are many freaking things they didn't use, despite having finished the pack, but... Of course, like, the multi-viable and sensible solutions combined with the amount of manual work you have to do not just for normal puzzles, but then for ASCII codes later on. As well as hints that help you solve puzzles being so far away from the puzzle you need to use it on. That is not that great. But it's still like super impressive how many areas there are. Like unique color palettes too. Very unique vibe and Baba packs. I still enjoyed playing it. Anyway, bye.